you can't smoke on IG though. You can't? You can't smoke on IG. Eh? I was asking you a question, but you're not listening. How smoking go up on the platform? Yeah? You start smoking up again. How <laughs> smoking go up on the platform? Yeah? Yeah. No, IG. Oh, no, you can put me IG. Oh, okay. Yeah, but just keep going. Okay. Due diligence. <laughs> Only TikTok me can okay good. Yeah. Come here check everything and you know. Cause I know when me turn on from my phone, upload, 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 right? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Me now promote smoking still. Smoking no good. Smoking is not a good thing. But more time. If you have on some clean herb, we have real seed in it, or you know, say, I know GMO. You know, you can get a little one meditation more time, but we now promote no smoking. We never smoke tobacco yet. I don't know what it tastes like to smoke tobacco, and I never smoke cigarette yet. Just marijuana, natural, pure, clean marijuana. But yeah. <clears throat> The grung hot, the grung hot, the grung hot, the grung. <laughs> the grung hot. So you know, say things have to put into context. <laughs> Some things they have to put into context. So, me don't want to hide them things. Say you know, where is the queen? What is she doing? What? Yes, the album I finish up and so and so. But the connection there between me and the God there. Yeah man, the Jamaican good stuff, you know. Cause real herb is still here on the rock, you know. Despite them have some dispensaries set up where I sell be a fake herb down here. We still have real marijuana growers who grow the real thing in you know, the real way. Them government that we are run up and down all about over the place with them followers need for truly legalize marijuana in a Jamaica for sure. We the ones them we are looking upon the whole of them we are run to and from. In a them different, different colors. <laughs> and who and who ahead, yes, yeah, see the orange something them go out there and you know so you soon see some green something go up to and so. But where is the colours? For those of us who don't get no justice yet, we our color there. <laughs> Cause yes, we see that the PNP have a army, the the JLP have a army, but where is the army for the people, for the real people who are suffering down here on this rock? Is it going to be PNP? Cause today we are going to want to put PNP that a break down a little bit, so that we don't get too distracted. <laughs> But I never that me turn on my phone for it. It's not all of that is a part of it. But the real reason why I turn my phone on today, right? Is to <laughs> Yeah man, send off the orange color. <laughs> Andrew and Mark Gold did. Yeah, let's do this now. Hurry up and fucking get over that. Make me see one next. Because <laughs> it's just about to get started. In case some people thinking that at, after the 26th of February, we're all gonna live in paradise. <laughs> yes. No, my beautiful island where we will invade for dog. I don't say it's gonna play out really and truly. But we are watching the formalizing of the space, you know. So as it goes along, you know, we'll 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 see, we'll see. But for right now, you can't stop. Shoot up your orange flag, them and all still. <laughs> Cause any flag go there as long as we not see one way represent freedom for the true Jamaicans. 
no flag now nah impress me right now. I mean, we'll never come down after that anytime soon. Until I see a flag that comes along that represents for the justice of this set of Jamaican people that everybody is trying to lead and to rule. Until I see someone who's really seriously doing that for the right reasons, you won't see any flags coming out of my corner. <laughs> And that's just that, you know what I mean? But yeah, today is the 13th of February. And tomorrow is the 14th. <laughs> Two very important things supposed to happen tomorrow. Cartel are going to walk free. And Bob Marley movie are come out. Significant, significant culture changing events. Um, not events that should be taken lightly or breezed over or just celebrate to say yeah bob marley biopic come out and cartel i go finally free the system back is against the wall so our event here in jamaica is vibes cartel hearing and bob marley movie coming out on the on the on the valentine's day and over in america we see miley cyrus them just play out for them one of the super ball everybody's organizing it's all an organization that's taking place for us now the people who they are all trying to impress to line up ourselves now to figure out whether or not we're gonna be subjects of these society people or we're going to continue to live in the freedom that the true and living almighty creator gave us to live in to be in fear of the almighty and not of flesh and blood like ourselves seeing so as a female um artist in the business and I don't see myself as no female artist really. I see myself as an artist who happens to be female. But I'm also an heterosexual female. A woman who believes in the value of family and love and, you know, community camaraderie where. We, we don't necessarily have to agree with everything about each other, but we can coexist with each other, you know? So, we just want to say, you know, big up Rita, big up Cindy, big up Yendi, big up Crystal, big up Carly, all them baby mothers who... Who them call baby mothers? Because I don't see myself as a baby mother. I see myself as a queen. <laughs> but all these women who have been with black celebrity men, and you know, things probably don't work out how it's supposed to. And so, some are we single, some remarry, some have them lives going, some trying to still figure out. From a from an authentic Jamaican woman, born on the rock, raised on the rock, go through everything when we go through Panda Rock here. I want to say today, on the eve of Valentine's Day, to my fellow Jamaican, just black women in general and women in general, but especially to my fellow Jamaican women. Who are in relationships that you don't feel good in you don't feel welcome in you don't feel you know like you should even be a part of there's a choice that you can make and the choice that you can make is how do I center myself in all of this situation and and how do i value myself in any situation that you find yourself in sisters so it is very good for we got on feminists and all man must go down kind of thing 
but taking some responsibilities for the actions them where we take in a summer with situations will afford us as black women to have the kind of relationships that we really want to have with our black men because you guys have eyes and you have sense and you can see that there is an attack on black couples like a relationship between a black woman and a black man like there is such an attack on that and if we don't have people in our black community to stand up and to say our black relationships and I, I don't like to even like to use the word black because it was a slave word given to our kings and queens but let's just say highly melanated people if 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 the highly melanated people don't have examples of what a true relationship should really look like then we will have all the reason in the world to say that Jamaican men are black men are, you know, men of our color and complexion are worth nothing. And so black women now have to go to a white man or a black man have to go to a white woman in order to feel loved and to feel validated and to feel a part of. It is all a farce and it all boils down to how each individual in these relationships view themselves so it doesn't matter if it is in a black and white relationship with a black woman a white man or a black man a black woman it's how the individual view themselves in the relationship that makes the difference in whether or not the relationship is going to work survive or whatever the outcome of that said union going to be However, there have not been a lot of examples for the black family, for the black woman and the black man. So you can see like a Taylor Swift and her giant white man run out at Super Bowl and, oh, that is such a lovely heterosexual relationship. But then Jay-Z and Beyonce have to play catch up to them at the, at, the, at the Grammys because at the end of the day, it's not about centering a true black family around family values. But it should be like in the case of Usher and, and, and Swiss Beats' wife, where Usher can be allowed to wind up on, on, on Alicia in a suggestive way, whether from a point of view of talent or just getting carried away in the moment. The, 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 in that moment when he, as a black man, should, in essence, respect his other black brother's wife so you could instead of saying he's trying to wind up on her you could say he was trying to be professional but at the same time show respect to the fact that she's the wife of a fellow musician or or, or somebody like himself the black couple the black family don't get that luxury to break that down in a respectful way it's more like if i have my woman him did a wine pan so or him out of the fear wine for my woman so even when sweets would have did come out and say something like um it's 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 a song that they did very long ago um it was good um heart it was good chemistry on stage like he's man enough in his time in his space to accept it from that point of view but the world that we live in today governed and fueled by this said social media does not allow that it does not allow that so because it does not allow that the black family will be the one to suffer the most if the black family is not strong enough to stand up to say even if i don't have a relationship right now or even if i am in one the black family is important the black family is worth protecting the black family is worth defending the value of the black man and the black woman union is valuable in every sense of the word and is worth protecting also in that said sense of the word you know and so jamaica coming back home would have be one of the greatest places to set those kind of examples to see where the black man, whether from a celebrity's point of view or from just a regular man point of view, or in the case of politicians where we see happening 
over on PNP side with those men caught up in that relationship um, fruffle there, right? There's a lot of the chaos in the black relationship, but there's not a lot of solution to how we fix that. Henceforth, something like Arita and Sydney and Cindy would want to tarnish something like a one love Bob Marley, which was what Bob Marley, the person was doing, not his surroundings. His surroundings is his wife and, his, and, the, per, and the woman that he ended up loving even though he had the wife and that is also a part of the black family structure in terms of how men see women and how men have women in their spaces we don't get enough opportunity to work out our own as black people so even if you're a celebrity you're still dealt with in the capacity of just being a black couple and that's how black people are they're arrogant and they're always fighting with each other no matter what level they are in their relationships and it's far from the truth it is far from the truth because at the end of the day it boils down to a common factor which suggests that we are all human beings we all have feelings we all have the same bodily functions we function the same way whether you're white whether you're chinese whether you're nubian we all have the same human bodily functions we hear from these two we see from these two we smell from these two we speak from these two we function the very same way what separates us is our culture in differences in culture differences in how we are brought up difference in how we are socialized and unfortunately again for the black race the examples that was most important to the black race were all erased and eroded and, 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 and pushed aside and null and voided. So it is us now who are the survivors of the ones who pushed against the system. We are the survivors of the resistance against all of those negative atrocities against us, especially as a people. We are the ones now who will have to stand up the strongest to say to our peers who are in relationships, especially here in Jamaica where we see how chaotic our relationship and our domestic affairs are turning out to be, we now have to be the ones to stand up and to say it doesn't have to be that way valentine's day we know the origins of it and who created it but yes it is now used for a moment of love especially in sexual emotional intimate relationships but unfortunately here in jamaica we only get in advertisement as to where to go to buy flowers and where to go to buy gifts but are we getting enough on where to go to fix the ills that are happening in our relationships that are causing the black family to look not only from a community level but from a family based home level so distorted and so bitter and a mother can kill a son a son can kill a mother a father can kill a mother a husband can shoot her wife in her vagina and we have a society that functions around that normal because it is not happening in their tribe or in their surroundings or in the areas that affect them. And everybody is moving on same way. I don't hear the Prime Minister of the country mention nothing at all so far upon him campaign trail in terms of what he is seriously going to do towards helping to fix and, and not just necessarily regulate what's happening in our households. I don't hear nobody from the opposition who want to come in should have the loudest voice because they are two of the most unusual crimes that we have ever seen called around any public figure in, in for the longest while is the first near here of two public figure where we know so you know you have public figure and then you have public figure so a man like Silvera and a man like Paul will be 
public, public, public figure them. They don't get no more public figure than them. And look at the crime that is called around their names. But everybody is busy on the campaign trail looking for votes either to keep promises going or to make new promises coming in. While this that I'm sitting here talking about domestic violence and community violence by extension reign supreme. Why shouldn't those things be the forefront of what the campaigning um, should be about? Why aren't we seeing Bob Zegrange, the Minister of Culture, Gender, Entertainment, marching out alongside with whoever on the other side in terms of the opposition who is responsible for those different portfolios knocking head to head to say make we see you now fight and i say all right then you now do enough for female rights or women gender rights or family rights this is where me i go why we not see the campaigns them led along that line but you see oh passionate or eloquent or well organized they are to rule out to come to get your sympathy your vote your consent your go ahead your let me hear what this one here say you guys are sitting down and allowing these groups of people to still determine how your day-to-day -day life functions, the things that really affect you in a real life, the things that you really need help with, the things that you need somebody to really look upon you and say to you, say, Denise, this is what you need to do to fix that. It pains my heart to not get up and turn my phone on every day because I can I decided to quit it a little bit because at the end of the day I don't want to be a martyr because it coming across like oh Queen Africa try to save everybody or Queen Africa go on like she got on like she knew everything but no one has ever listened to me as an artist as a public figure they astrotize they me <laughs> See, they push me aside, they kick me down, them thump me down, them do me everything. None of them no support Queen Africa. And I'm talking about those who are linked to the powers that be, the change makers, those who have the influence on you, the masses who brag every day that you don't want to hear us, you want to hear them. I am still calling on Richard Curry. I am still calling on Kabu Mahat Keru. I am still calling on Muta Baruka. I am still calling on, um, on the lawyer, Mr. Bird Samuels. I'm calling on all of those who stood in the front line of the resistance of our ancestors. This is the moment when we are needed the most to stand in a kind of unity that will suggest to the masses that our ancestors' blood were not shed in vain. But instead, everybody have chosen to either go silent or use the things that were said for their benefit, but not for the benefit of this rock of people, not just the land, not just the place, not just the opportunities that being born Jamaican afford you but the willingness to open your mouth and to say to the powers that be enough is enough where jamaican people and suffering is concerned but you all know for a fact that it is only one sector of this little island that you all are coming together to target and it is that little mass that is known as the silent majority and you will stop at nothing to bow it down because we know that the new world order would have to be established out of Jamaica. Any world order that would be established anywhere would have to be established out of this island. I don't know how to do it without the people realizing. So, you know, using everything that the people love. And you're using it to make the people feel that you're using it because you love them. 
but it's only weapons against them that for the plans that you have for them as soon as they are distracted enough to believe you everything is playing out in front of you jamaican people everything is being played yes we know that they flushed you out 2020 2022 I know that they flushed you out through the borders and flush out you through the different things where them did, sh did put on you. And a lot of Jamaicans are now overseas. That is why the, the Jamaican audience is so foreign. You're not seeing Jamaican people because they were forced out of the country in order to facilitate the new Jamaica. Because if they were going to establish the new Jamaica with the real Jamaicans here, they will have to give the real Jamaicans justice first and then create the new Jamaica. But they never want the patience or the time to do that. So they drive out the people with the sovereign rights from down here. Because, again, the people are ignorant, a lot of them are ignorant to the fact that they are sovereign indeed to this island. Africa is suffering now because of the dismantling of how the culture did function out of Jamaica. So, yes, Ziggy, your father told you to keep the dollar in line, and you're doing that, my dearly beloved. But we see the flaws in the rollout of the biopic, we know who is behind the reason why it have to roll out the way it roll out. And we're giving thanks to the facts that Bob Marley's story will finally in some way somehow be told. But the Bob Marley that we know, that we born out of, would want for the resistance to be represented. Would want for it to be known very clearly that as much as he was for peace and love in the world, the resistance that he put up was the willingness that he was willing to fight for that said peace. It wasn't a peace where everybody the saw us come and come talk about one love, one heart, let's all get together and feel all right. Yes, the all of us that he wanted to get together to feel all right, was us the people, the regular man, the maroon and the Jamaican and the runaway slave and the Taino and the Indian and all of us that was living here as a colony and the, all of the colonization that divided us. That is what he died for because he wanted to keep that unity. The original unity is what he died for. Because in order to get that unity, it would mean that all Africans would have to unite for real. And all Africans, meaning free Africans and enslaved Africans, would have to unite. Free Africans and enslaved Africans would have to unite in order for us as a people, as a black race, to see the kind of victory that would make sense. So those on the front line of Pan-Africanism and all the other different groups that are set up that were born out of the resistance, they should now be the strongest in terms of using their voices and collectiveness to come together and to bring it to the people like what Putin did in his interview with Tucker to break down the history of Russia. What the reason for the war between Russia and Ukraine is because sovereignty and new ideas clashing. And there are people who would want the new idea, but they would not want to let go of their sovereignty and their sovereign rights as people to be and to belong, just like what we see happening over in Israel and Gaza. So, in order to fix all of that and to have all the powers that be that governs outcome, the people will have to, meaning Israelite and Gazas, right? Ukrainians and Russians would have to come together in a form of a unity that represents pushing against the status quo in the form of always making war the only solution to any problems that we have in the world, whether it's in the family again, 
or by extension with the people, the world, the communities that we live in. This is why we call on the artists because you were chosen by the Almighty to be the interceptor between God and the devil where the people and their consciousness was concerned. And if you look carefully now, you're seeing where there's evil here in Jamaica. I'm a Bex with your massacre. If you go and do no song for Andrew. See? As artists, we're supposed to represent for the people. And these politicians and these people who want to, to be to have people love them should humble themselves and come to us and beg we and we now go to the people and say, You think me for do this for them? And the people say, Yeah, man, you can't do it. Make we see it and see. Seeing so all of these politicians who just want to use music. For when it benefit them in a, in a politics. Why you don't use it for help in a domestic problems in, a, in our communities? They use it right across the board. Don't just use the things that we love for your benefit and use them against us. And then you're telling us that is not indoctrination, that is not programming. It's programming it, because you're not allowing people to choose freely. You're telling them how to choose. You see me? And this country that I grew up in, I grew up here as a free person. It was not every Jamaican that were slave or enslaved. It was not every Jamaican that were slave or enslaved. Mark Golden is not a Jamaican in terms of his bloodline. Andrew Olness, I maybe him a Jamaican bloodline, but he's not acting with Jamaican bloodline. There are a lot of different type of bloodlines that are here on this island. And we don't have enough bloodline that is here to defend the original people that was here. The set of people that used to live in peace and coexistence before all of this mayhem. That's why they say we have the longest um, revolt ever. Because we are still in a revolt. And yes, you guys have managed to kill out and push down and shove back a lot of the resistance that came up against the, in, the partiality and the injustice of all the people that are true ears to any true one down here. You understand what I'm saying? You, yes, you know win. You know kill them off. You know shove them back. You know do all I want to do. But you cannot enjoy the rock in its entirety if you do not stop. And look at the most important asset on the rock. And the most important asset on the rock is the people on the rock. And not just the ones who you choose to be your followers in. Whether they're going to put on orange or they're going to put on green. But people in general who live here, who know here, who had no other um, inclination to leave to go anywhere else. I can speak because I am a Jamaican born woman who got through a lot of very dark moments here on this island. But never did it give me a reason to turn my back on my country, to cuss my country, and to feel like my country was not worth fighting for. And so we learn the secret of what it means to survive in a true way with the unclean and we are pure. So in other words, even though we were suffering, we did not subject our people around us to suffering as well. And that is where we respect people like Bob Marley from. As much as he was suffering, he did not allow the people that loved him all around the world to suffer too. too. He bear the suffering and stood for them. To the point of them, of, of, to his death, they killed him because of that. Seeing, and we know this, and this is where we love and respect the family of him from. And I would love for Cindy and Rita to, in this modern time, you guys are still alive, and 
hot heterosexual black family relationship is under attack. It would be nice for you guys to meet up and make the world see say, Cindy and Rita good. So the narrative that them trying to shape around Jamaican women right across the board, being bitter and ignorant, side chicks and baby mothers and no respect, now put round the names of these women considering all the efforts and all the sacrifices made that is something worth looking into but sometimes if somebody not fighting for you you have to fight for yourself so if we say we love jamaica so much and everything that jamaica did for us remember rita Marley is, is cuban and and cindy is canadian or canadian um born jamaican parents kind of a thing i'm saying all of that to say we do we these are foreigners who came into our space and benefited from something about us that is so great and they happen to be two women who ended up become great companionship to one of our great men that was born off this rock here that even in death is still significant enough to cause a stir like this in the world. It's for us as Jamaicans right across the board, whether those imported, those born here, come through slavery, the out of many one. It's time for us to come into a collective togetherness so that the world that was always in place can now see the example of what it means for love culture, love country love people love family unconditionally the item see what me i try to say this is the kind of country where me born out of and this is why i choose to turn on my phone today to say to you guys election day if we understand who we are fully and truly as a people who have been been through so much with so little help from anyone at all Think in what you doing i am doing it by living i am doing it by not falling along the way like a lot of my great ancestors did i wanted to be around to be able voice in a way that would make a difference not only for me and my family that I would have gotten from any system or any society but the support of raw love when I was in a, a lot of my darkest moments in, it was the ability to turn to music and the love when we get from turn to be there you know what I mean to not necessarily understand what was happening with me, but was, was patient enough to watch me grow through the times. I will always be in gratitude of that. I will always be grateful to that. And that is where I learn my voice from. The idea of what true change really mean. The idea of saying that true change begins with me. It's an actual thing. It's, a, it's about looking in your individual self and how it is that... I can make a difference with our ID, with a situation one way or the other. You know what I mean? And so, as I say, without staying much longer, the new world is farming out of this island here, Jamaica. Any new world we are farm is down here it a farm from. There's a there's a ace, there's a ori to get it off the ground to get it a particular way. This local government election the passion and the flowing over in the streets of everyone and, and all of that is just the passion of people really wanting that change so much and not necessarily getting it from anywhere the powers that be are not using it to the benefit of the people looking on they are uh, they're just using it to find as much loyalists as they can get so we're still saying that the unity that we need to establish as black people here in Jamaica will still have to come from the players that be in the form of us musicians, us people that have influence, that can come together putting our pride and all them something they aside for... Yeah, man, the connection always get trouble when me a chat, man. I saw them...
You see me? So it's about just keeping saying the thing and just no say. You know? Mood would implore um with vloggers and with bloggers and these influencers that are spread out across social media doing Jamaican people business. It's kind of getting very obvious that some of your intentions are not necessarily pure towards the country and the true development of the country and the kind of, um, you know, dedication and commitment we need to really get we out of the rut here so that we don't just become slaves down here and, you know, just be willing and ready to, 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 look, to look like puppets. You know, we're not puppets. We are free people. We are a sovereign people. Truth knows the time to the people so that people can understand that they are fighting for, you know, and why are they fighting, you know? It's like, I, I can't sit around and watch no more Jamaican dead to satisfy a new Jamaica that some others are trying to build, you know? I think we just need to stop and really and truly look at how we collectively I am going to be coming on these spaces. You say, I'm see it coming up on my thing saying it pause because I wasn't using the app. But we are in the new world, you know. And people like me, them are going, you know, you see where Kanye West do in pay seven million dollars for to say to people say, come from my website. <laughs> so we did not understand that for a long time and did not say to our soul never sell yet. And our soul pure and there, we not have to worry about no backlash and no pushback from no system because our soul pure and intact, you know. So, we kind of we kind of pray for Kanye because me see say him a fight back for him soul in our way there. You see me? And me hope he get it back. Cause when you give your soul, you can't get it back, you know. <laughs> yeah, them so. See someone saying you know, that there's no sound. So I am going to end this live with whatever you got from today. But the bottom line, top line, middle line is the black family is important. The black family is important. The heterosexual family is important. And the differences that the heterosexual family faces is a lot. But at the end of the day, it is the love tomorrow on Valentine's Day. I am imploring Jamaican men, real, true Jamaican men who don't love them woman because of them vagina alone or uh, somewhere where they can go lean and hide from them regular life. But Jamaican men who have women in them lives that them really, truly, authentically love and treasure for the sacrifices that they make, for the things that they put up with, for just being there when they weren't even supposed to be there. Those um, men and those women should be treated very nicely tomorrow. See? And if the, if the relationship has a lot of darkness and a lot of hatred and you don't know why you're there with the person, make it a dinner where you can sit around the table with each other and make a vow not only to yourselves but to your god that you're going to have a conversation with the intention to have a, a decent solution to whatever the problem it might not happen in that first dinner that first attempt but it always will happen at the first attempt so at least attempt and as some of us as women we need to step the fuck back with how we put things on the table that we need. Oh, I need this. And I need this in the relationship. And I, your vagina for some man is your biggest bargaining point. So, if your vagina is more scrumptious than the side chick. Vagina, then you have a next thing coming. Try to introduce your mind to some of the men that you're with. Try to let them know who you really are in opposed to the person that you are pretending to be. Because a lot of the times, when these men or these women pick you guys up, they pick you guys up in a pretense of who you really are, not who you really are. 
And sometimes when some people find out it too late, them can't bother stop too much things involved now. So we are just saying, before it's too late, proactive is always better than reactive. is always better than reactive. So be proactive. Sit down, reason. If it's too dark, if it's too ugly, step. See the queen here, yeah? 23 years. I'm walk with no bitterness, no hatred, but me just conscious. I me know what life really mean and, and what it means to truly love. So it's not hard to do. It can be done. It's how you approach doing it. So that is it for today. I am not dead at sea. With day I see everything. I mean, never talk about everything today. But that is enough in terms of those who are listening. Because we don't come down and scrub with us, you know, we know. And we don't come down who not here, you know. And only who are here. We are deal with the Kelly City Opens. It have to go down. And we sorry for them. And we pray. And we throw a libation. But those who survive and are cognizant of what it means to stay in survival mode at them at the eye them me personally i deal with moving forward so if the chosen are a few let it be a few of us but we will stay in consciousness so happy for them valentine's day when you come coming now come live tomorrow me need to watch vibes cartel something streaming live me need to see every hint of it because when all is said and done, we never want cartel behind no bars. We want cartel on the front line of the fight for the people of this country, not against them. Big up on yourself. Love on you.